Hello everybody, this is Red Sea, Red Sea Gaming. I decided to just take a break from my Minecraft world and upload this today, which is basically me just uh, ran invading random players in uh, one of my favorite worlds, the uh, uh, in Dark Souls, which is the Painted World. I mean, I just call it the Painted World because I can really can't read the A word right after it. But as you can see, sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. But as you can see, just objective is since I'm part of the Dark Moon Covenant, uh, I'm a, I'm invading guilty players, as in players that have. Uh, uh, upset Gwendolyn, uh, one of the bosses of the game. So, uh, I'm actually just on the hunt. Uh, and of course, sometimes you just uh, spend like a half an hour just killing random enemies while you're waiting for uh, uh, for you to be summoned to the world. Uh, like, invading world of guilty as a spirit of vengeance. I'm ready to and sometimes they're cowards and they'll actually quit their game as soon as they, as soon as they see that you've invaded. See, we got cowards in the game. They'll literally um, they'll literally quit out rather than fight you. So they are cowards. <laughs> so it's all good. And what what's good? I do get a few victims in this video if you uh, stay tuned. I'm like this. Victims! I mean, I must find the guilty and bring them to justice. Okay, uh, see, I cut to when I was summoned again because sometimes it's 30 to 45 minutes of waiting till I get to another victim. It allows me to practice on players and just wipe them out. See, look, I'm inside somebody's world. I'm going to go and kill them. Uh, all right, invading uh, J.O. the guilty. Uh, hopefully he won't disconnect. Hopefully he won't. Come on, let's fight. And what's cool about it, he has the same weapon as me and the same shield. And any second now, look, see, I'm being nice. Uh, bow gesture, I'm bowing. Come on, let's... Uh, Yeah, he disconnected. Mwah. So, let's just... Invading World of the Guilty. Alright, alright, let's go get him. Uh, win some, lose some, and also... Uh, that person who disconnected didn't get anything for uh, for not killing me. If he had killed me, he would have gotten a certain percentage of souls that it cost me to level up in the game. So, it's actually pretty good. Now, I'm on my way to kill another target. All right, let's see how well he fares against my uh, Grave Lord Blade. But first, I have to find him. Uh, when you invade somebody in a game, uh, you're spending most of your time actually just trying to find him. So, because sometimes he'll uh, he'll hide. Right now, I'm like, where is he? Where is he? I don't want to be backstabbed by the guy I'm invading. That would be bad. So, see, I'm actually looking around, and then I'm about to go up the ladder, but then I notice, there he is, there he is, right there. Oh, look at that, he's doing half my job for me, uh, those enemies are doing half the job for me, I just need to finish him off. And, of course, he f flips the switch, which causes the cutscene, and he thinks he's gonna get away, but no, you're dead, buddy, you're dead. <laughs> Yes, and meanwhile, I'm dancing because I got like 5,600 souls for doing it, and I got a souvenir of reprisal for uh, for killing him. The souvenir of reprisal is a good thing because it uh, uh, you'll be able to give it to your Dark Moon Covenant, and you'll be able to get some cool uh, goodies with each rank you achieve. So I'm um, so it's actually pretty worth it uh, to just kill guilty players. Okay, I have another enemy to kill. Okay. Charge. Objective. Find him. Oh, there he is. He's just right there. Yep. And the first thing I do is, since he's not in the mood to talk to me, I'm just going to do a few swipes at his back. I know it's not very sportsman. Like, I usually do the bow gesture, but if he's not looking in my direction, of course I'm going to try and do the backstab. And... 
And since he's been healing up, it's best I heal up too. And uh, as you can see, he's using Zoihander. Uh, he's using the Zoihander blade. I'm using the Great Lord Sword. Uh, I say the Great Lord Sword is a better blade because if you miss with the Zoihander, it's very hard to. Uh, it's. I mean, you leave yourself open to counterattack. So. See, he's trying to use uh, Flame because I used Pyromancy earlier. And then he leaves his back open for the backstab. <laughs> and of course, I finish him off. Oh. I bet he's like, who is this player who's invading me? Or he, uh, or they're cursing me. <gasps> Curse you! And what's good about it? There's no voice. Uh, I mean, there's no, uh, you know voice chat in the game so I can just walk away without them bad mouthing me or something it's all good okay I'm invading Iceman okay let's find him alright here's the thing when you invade somebody else's world in Dark Souls uh, the enemies they do not attack you because you're an invader they'll actually fight alongside you to uh, to kill the uh, kill the host of the game which is cool which allows me to go through without any problems and just get to the host and uh, since the enemies are having trouble killing him and of course here he is he thinks he, he he's a match for me but I'm gonna be victorious die okay see um, my blade actually has a side effect it has the toxify effect even if he managed to get away from me if I toxify him he's as good as dead if he does not have any antidotes on him and now here we are I'm coming into somebody else's game and oh it's the same guy as before and now I'm or is it and now I'm going down I'm looking for him hopefully oh I see him down below now I just need to get to him and stop him from entering the boss fog <laughs> There are two ways of escaping me in the game. Uh, um, when I invade somebody, I have to be killed, or they get to the boss before I get to them. So, so it's important that they actually get to the boss as quickly as possible. Oh, look at that. Here he is. What's good? The enemies are holding him off. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. And then he, he disconnects from the game. And that's when I yell, Coward. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep doing this until and as you can see I get up and here we are another enemy then I noticed that he summoned a phantom which means uh, he, mu he must be near the boss fog so I'm running down as quickly as I can like I'm like this if I can if he stays long enough for me to challenge him that'll be good uh, but yeah, sadly, it, it ended with him entering the boss fog. Thus, he was free from my vengeance. The guilty have challenged the area boss. Returning to your world. Ugh. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll probably, uh, I'll probably try to upload something for Wednesday next week, but. I am going uh, to Kentucky um, on Tuesday uh, to a trade show. If you guys want me to upload a, a video showcasing the trade show, um, uh, please leave a comment down below. And um, it's going to be fun. And look at this. All right. I'm going to say this beforehand that I lost this fight fair and square. Um, like this guy, I thought he was going to be easy, but I could tell he was wearing the dark wraith uh, outfit. See? Uh, okay, this guy is trying to kill me. Like, this guy's pretty good at the game. Sometimes I'm bad at PvP, but here he is. I'm gonna lose this. See? He, he parried me. It's over. Okay, guys. God bless. See you guys next week.